Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ Blessed. This is 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. With me today I have... Officer RL. Officer RL is with me today. So we're going to smash another topic, another Christian lie, another Muslim lie, I should say. I see Muslims use the scripture a lot to say uh, why Paul is invalid, uh, Paul was a liar, he was this, he was that. Let's go to Romans 3 and 7. We're going to read Romans 3 and 7 and see what Paul said. Let's go. Romans chapter 3 verse 7. For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? So the apostle Paul said, what? Read it again. For if the truth of if God. If the truth of God. Hath more abounded. If the truth of God has abounded more. Through my lie. Through me being a liar. Uh-huh. Unto his glory. Uh-huh. Why yet am I also judged as a sinner? Why are y'all still judging me like this? Let's go to Acts 758. So Muslims like to use the scripture to say, oh, Paul was wrong, he was a liar, we can't follow Paul. He put a lot of lies in his epistles and so forth, right? Let's get a little more. Let's see the let's see the character of Saul before his conversion. Let's go. Acts chapter 7 verse 58 and cast him out of the city and now this is talking about the disciple Stephen all right read and stoned him and stoned Stephen remember Stephen was cutting up the Pharisees he cut them to shreds in Acts chapter 7 all right now they stoned they killed Stephen go ahead and the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet uh-huh whose name was Saul whose name was Saul this is Later on in, in, in Acts, the apostle Saul, uh, the apostle Paul. Go ahead. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God, saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Uh huh. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not the sin to their charge. Man, oh man, I w listen, every last one of us needs to have that spirit right there. Go ahead. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Read. Acts 8 and verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And Saul was down with it too. Saul was down with the with the um with the program. Go ahead. And at that time there was a great persecution against the church, uh -huh. which was at Jerusalem. Read. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea. Read. And so now this they're persecuting the church. The, the, the followers of Christ are being persecuted. Go ahead. And Samaria except the apostles and devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him uh-huh keep going as for Saul as for Saul which later became Paul he made havoc of the church he made havoc of the church that's what Paul Saul did go ahead entering into every house and hailing men and women committed them to prison let's get Acts 26 and 9 Let's stay in the book of Acts about Saul, who later became Paul. Let's go. Acts 26 and verse 9. I verily thought with myself. Now, this is Paul on trial with King Agrippa. Remember, they were trying to kill Paul in Jerusalem. He wanted to appeal to Caesar. He, before that, he saw Agrippa, right? Let's go. That I ought to do many things contrary of the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Paul at one time when he was Saul thought to do contrary 
to what Christ laid down. Okay, go ahead. Which thing I also did in Jerusalem. What did he do in Jerusalem? Keep going. And many of the saints did I shut up in prison. Uh-huh. Having received authority from the chief priests. He received authority from the chief priests in Jerusalem to find all the believers of Christ and put them in jail, lock them up, wreak havoc of the church. Go ahead. And when they were put to death, uh -huh. I gave my voice against them. Uh-huh. So he was down with it, like with Stephen in Acts chapter 7. Go ahead. And I punished them oft in every synagogue. Uh-huh. And compelled them to blaspheme. I made you blaspheme. Don't believe in Christ. Don't believe. Don't, don't teach in that name. Go ahead. And being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto strange cities. Even unto strange cities. Remember, he converted on his way to Damascus. He was following the believers of Christ everywhere, persecuting them, putting them in prison, bringing them back to Jerusalem to be bound. Read. Whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests. From the chief priests. John 16 and 2. Let's see the prophecy that Christ laid down. The black Messiah. Let's go. John 16 and 2. John chapter 16 and verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Uh -huh. Yea, the time cometh. The time is going to come. It's going to be prophesied. It shall come to pass. That whosoever killeth you. Whosoever kills you, you believers of Christ. Will think that he doeth God's service. See that? Paul thought, Saul thought he was doing God's service. Okay? Now, give me Acts 21 and 20. So if the truth abides, bounds by my lie. That's what we're trying to get to, right? Let's see. Acts 20 and 20. Excuse me. Acts 21 and 20. Let's go. Acts chapter 21 verse 20. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. Uh-huh. And they are informed of thee. They're inf those Jews are informed of you, Paul. That thou teachest of the Jews which are among the Gentiles. They, you, they are informed of you, Paul, that you teaching those Jews that are among the Gentiles to do what? To forsake Moses. To forsake what Moses laid down through, that, that God laid down through Moses. He gave what? Commandments. Okay? He laid down commandments. All right? Saying what? Saying that they ought not to circumcise their children. You, they ought not to circumcise their children. Neither to walk after the customs. Don't walk after the customs. Those were lies. Go back real quick to Romans 3 and 7. Now we know what the lie is, the allegation, the slander is against Paul. Give it to me. Romans chapter 3 verse 7. For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie. Through what? Through my lie. Through what? Through my lie. Go back, go back, go back. Now we know what the lie is. This was an allegation against Paul when he was teaching around around the uh, um the different areas that Israel was scattered in. Right? Read 21 again. Acts 21 and 21. And they are informed of thee. They're informed of you, Paul. That thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles. To do what? To forsake Moses. Don't, don't go that way no more. Saying that they ought not to circumcise their children. Did Paul tell Israel not to circumcise their children? No. That was a lie. Go ahead. Neither to walk after the customs. Did he say not to walk after the customs? No. Another lie. Read. What is it therefore? Read. The multitude must needs come together, for they will hear that thou art come. Read. Do therefore this that we say to thee. We have four men which have a vow on them. We have, Paul, this is what you do, Paul. We got men that have a vow on them. Watch this. Go ahead. Them take. The, and Them take. And purify thyself with them. Paul, here's what you're going to do. You're going to purify yourself with these men. And be at charges with them. Read. That they may shave their heads. Uh -huh. And all may know uh -huh. that. Read this right. And all may know what? That those things, that those things, what things, those lies, whereof they were informed concerning thee, are nothing. Are nothing. Those lies are nothing. Here's what you want to do, Paul. You want to go 
purify yourself with these men to show that you are a real disciple of Christ. Okay? And that you're not teaching them to, to uh, leave their children uncircumcised. Um, no, nor to walk after the customs. Nor to forsake Moses, Paul. That's what you're going to do. Go ahead. But that thou thyself also walkest orderly and keepest the law. And keepest the law. Now I'll go back to Romans 3 and 7. Now we know what the lie was and now we know what Paul did to uh, um, circumvent that lie. Right? Romans 3 and 7 once again now. Romans chapter 3 verse 7 For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lies Because now you got to remember What was Paul doing before? We just read it in Acts 26 and 9 Okay, he was persecuting the church He was killing the disciples of Christ He found wherever the disciples of Christ was He was putting them to death Or bringing them bound back to Jerusalem Okay, read that again Read it slow for if the truth of God... So now, here's Paul now. He converts in Acts 9. Now he's teaching the truth of God that what? Christ is the Savior and we all must come through Christ. We all must come to God through Christ. Repentance in Christ. No more animal sacrifice. That can't save you. No more two turtle doves and, all the, and, and, sacrifice, and offerings. Right? Now, Christ is the ultimate offering. That's the truth of God. Right? And it has done what? Have what? Hath more abounded And now it has abounded through what? Through my lie Through my lie What is the lie? The lie is the allegations The slander that we just read in Acts 21 and 21 Read Unto his glory Unto glory of God Go ahead Why yet am I also judged as a sinner? Why are y'all still judging me like this If the truth is still spreading Even though you think I'm lying Okay So brothers and sisters That is Romans 3 and 7 we got the problem. Matter of fact, keep reading it. Read the next verse. Verse 8. And not rather, as we be slanderously reported. As we be what? Slanderously reported. One more time. Slanderously reported. See that? It's all a slander. Even the next verse tells you it's a lie. It's a slander, brothers and sisters. Read. And as some affirm that we say, uh -huh. let us do evil. Some affirm that we say. They're not saying it. Some are saying it. That they're saying it. Go ahead. That good may come, uh -huh. whose damnation is just. So, brothers and sisters, that's 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. I'm Officer Arrell. And we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.